movies. Who knows what possibilities could exist? So guys, if you have any movies that you want to see in theaters again, like, hey, G.I. Joe the movie, why don't we root for that to be in theaters? Because I would love to see that in theaters. I've never seen that in theaters I also. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Check it. Check it. Check it. Deja vu. Yeah. No way. No, 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 no. It can't be. It can't be. General Hawk, we can't wait any longer. About damn time! Beginning the end of the I jump! That's not gonna happen. Alright, alright. After that! <coughs> what? Intro. Oh my goodness. G.I. Joe the movie. In theaters. With never before scenes. I gotta go. Wow, Fathom Events is finally releasing G.I. Joe the movie into theaters. I mean, I can't believe this is happening again. Now, I don't know if I have anything to do with this this time because I don't remember sending an email to them, but hey, this is once again another rare opportunity for a classic movie to be in theaters. But I find it really neat that I mentioned it years ago and look where we are. Now, I wasn't an avid fan of G.I. Joe. I was just waiting until Transformers came on. However, I had some favorite episodes, as well as powerhouse couples, and my all-time favorite character, Duke. Yo, Joe, dear, dear. Who may as well be wearing a red shirt from Star Trek, cause that man has some bad luck. I mean, he gets knocked out. Like, a lot. If he's not knocked out, he's gassed. If he's not gassed, he's blown away. I should really tally how many times this poor man gets hurt. Hell, I'm afraid to find out what his life insurance costs. Now, the quality wasn't as good as Transformers the movie. They even broke it down in parts and treated it like a miniseries, featuring Sergeant Slaughter to bring us up to speed of where we left off. I'm Sergeant Slaughter, and I've got some real hairy action head your way. Action that would send most guys screaming for their mama. Of course, me never seeing this movie, I was in middle school and I was waiting for the bus, so I decided to kill time by watching TV. And guess what I tuned into? Oh, come on! First you killed Prime, and now you killed Duke? Yo, Joel. He's gone into a coma. Oh, he's in a coma. <laughs> he's in a coma, guys. <coughs> Why is there an elephant in the room? Turns out, Duke was actually dead. But what they did was they just dubbed over it very poorly. Yo, Joe. So let me give you a quick rundown. Hasbro was in a chopping block mood. They wanted to get rid of the old by bringing in the new, so they did. <laughs> by killing off classic heroes that we grew up and loved. What's this? Over my shoulder. Duke. Hoping the new would replace them and win our hearts, cause you know, for kids. <laughs> so with the outrage of parents and a child locking himself up over the death of Optimus Prime, Hasbro decided to scrap the idea, keep Duke alive, and play the movie on TV. Overall, it's a good movie with a freaking awesome intro that brings you to tears. 
I mean, look at this animation. Can you imagine how long it took to draw, to paint, and animate something so fluent? <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> so again, guys, G.I. Joe the movie is coming out 23rd and 25th. So don't forget to get your tickets and just sit back, relax, and reminisce about the good old days. So Fathom Events, thank you once again for bringing this movie out into the big screen for the very first time. And you are awesome. I just want to let you know that. You are amazing. Thank you so much for bringing Transformers the movie into the theaters. Thank you again for bringing G.I. Joe into the theaters. You are awesome. You really are. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, guys, this is Naisha Marine, and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned.